When using Google Slides, we have an option to enable a presentation Q&A. In the top right hand corner, next to the present button, select the drop down arrow and choose presenter view. Present with an audience Q&A and view speaker notes. When we do this, this will load the presenter screen. On the left hand side, we will be able to see our notes and navigate through. Behind, this would be the screen that your students are viewing. This screen could be your class interactive whiteboard or touchscreen, or even a Google Meet live stream. Let's go back to our presenter view. Across the top, we have audience tools. I'm going to select audience tools, and I'm going to start a new audience Q&A. When we select this box, Automatically, a new URL is created across the top of your presentation. There are a few options that we can have. We can accept questions from just your school domain, or we can accept them from anybody. The other option we have is to enable or disable the comment features, which you can turn off at any point during your presentation and then re-enable it to allow students or participants to ask more questions. I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to bring in a student's account and just paste the URL in. You could be sharing this URL in Google Classroom or even emailing it to your participants. The participants of your Q&A will see this screen. They can select the ask question box and type in their question. By default, Anybody asking a question automatically has their name recorded against their question. However, you can select to ask anonymously in case you're a little shy of asking the question. And then you can click the blue submit button. This will now post the question and any other students or participants looking at this Q&A will also see this question. They have the ability to vote up a question if they would like that to be answered. Let's return to the viewer's notes, and we can see here that that question has been asked. If somebody was to select the vote up, thumbs up, we will also see this as the presenter view. You can continue to present your slides as you normally would, and the students will still be able to ask questions using your URL. Once you have finished your Q&A session, be sure to turn off the Q&A URL. This will stop any participants from asking more questions.